It's Friday night. You know what that means. Another week of Friday Night Live. The action continues to roll on throughout the high school football world. And Jack, we have a big one this week, a big week of action. An understatement yeah, indeed. We fair, have a few fair. rivalry games going on across the area as we get closer and closer to October. But the biggest matchup we have, at least this week, is in North Fargo. That's right. To uh, two of the top teams in the AA level going head to head. Fargo North Spartans hosting the Fargo South Bruins. South looking to beat North in back to back regular season matchups. North trying to keep their unbeaten season alive on homecoming. After a 7 6 North start, Dorian Sandis burst up the middle, shedding two tacklers and scoring. South up 13 7 in the second quarter, but here comes North right back. Toss outside of the big man himself, the Terminator, Peter Haugo, racing past tacklers. Look at him and go. He's He's gone. Hasta la vista, 60 yards to the house. <laughs> Touchdown North, 14-13 in the half. Now South scores out the gates, adds a two-point try. North does what they do best, give the ball to How go Another deep run, another stiff arm. Oh, my goodness, another touchdown. His second, he'll end up with three. And after back-to-back -back scores, North leads by seven. Fargo South driving over a minute to go. Fourth and goal at the 11. And they get in. Dwayne Mitchell scores and keeps the game alive wow. for South. Touchdown <laughs> Bruins. The celebration was nuts. <laughs> they go for two to win it. Pass over the middle. And what a deflection oh. by Samuel Friddle. That'll do it. North wins 28-27 in the game, game, of, the game of the year. year. Absolutely. Absolutely. We spoke with both Halgo and head coach Adam Rowland postgame and what it felt like to win a game like this. It was great. Um, as, since I've been a little kid, we've always called it South Week. Um, and just it being homecoming makes it an even bigger deal. And I'm just so glad that all of our guys stepped up, made big plays, and it was just an all-around uh, great team win. And the guys did an awesome job focusing all week long at practice. Uh, before the game, they were locked in, ready to go. And, and we knew it was going to, like I said, we knew it was going to be a battle. North now 5-0 on the season, but the Cheyenne Mustangs are back in action this week, looking to bounce back after their first loss of the season last weekend. Their opponents tonight making the trip down from Grand Forks, the Red River Rough Riders. Mustangs going to waste no time getting on the scoreboard in this cross-class battle. Caden Olson steps back, pump fakes. We're going to wait for this one in all his glory. Fires a deep pass into the end zone to his brother Noah. Oh, he gets up for it. A ridiculous on. catch over two defenders. Wow. We've got a 6 nothing game. The aerial attack continues in the first quarter. This time it's a bomb down the other sideline to Kobe Walter. It's a foot race from there for about 50 yards. Cheyenne with a two score lead. They're not going to slow down <laughs> even a little bit. Mustangs keep their foot on the gas in the second handoff to Tate Herman. He's going to dive into the five yard touchdown. Mustangs lead 26-7 at halftime. They're going to keep that way the whole rest of the game. 38-14, the final from West Fargo. Stick around. we got more Friday Night Live coming up after this. We're going to step into Minnesota in the battle for the paddle.